Hello everybody, Marcel Harding here, welcome to my channel, Marcel Harding Art. Today I thought I'd do a, a short video on how I mix my browns and oranges. So what I've got here is titanium white, cabinet yellow light, a losing, permanent losing crimson, French ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Um, these are acrylics, I use Atlier, and I just use these five colours. The, the uh, permanent lizard was dripping down, but that's okay. So, with the browns, I use uh, burnt umber. I don't mix, I don't make my own brown. I actually buy a tube of brown paint called burnt umber. Now, there's a reason for that. You can make brown using the three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, but it's very hard to get the equation right. You've got to be exact. So I thought it'd be a lot easier to just to have a brown tube, a dark brown like um, burnt upper, for example, and it does everything, and it can make black. 60% uh, French ultramarine blue, 40% burnt upper makes black. So I thought I'd show you how I mix my own browns and oranges using just these five colors. Now you can replace brown with with ivory black, for example, but like I said, you need the three primary colors to make brown, but it's very hard to make brown. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, and it's kind of frustrating and annoying when you're in a hurry. But um, I use burnt umber. So with, I just burnt umber by itself is a good color, as you can see, but it's not really the color. It's, you want more than just that. So I often, quite often, I use permanent lizard crimson just to lighten it up, and, and yellow. And as you can see, it gives it that nice tan color. Which is good, but you, you may want a different brown at all. So you can add white to that, and it, and it makes it even more, uh, more of kind of brown. That's all good. And if you want to use yellow, just keep adding yellow. You've got a, uh, a yellow brown kind of color. And as you can see, and if you want to darken the brown, you simply just add a bit of lizard crimson and a bit of blue, and it makes it kind of greenish brown, but uh, it darkens it, as you can see right here. So they're my different type of brown colors I got there. So all, all the type of browns I need, I've got there. Now for the, um, for the orange color, I use um, permanent alizarin and cabin yellow light. I could buy a tube of orange, but I can't be bothered. And you can see this, that's the yellow I like. And if you want more, um, more reddish, you just add more red on it. And if you want to darken the orange, you just simply add ultramarine blue and it darkens the orange quite dark. And you can add white to that. And uh, it gives you a mauve type of orange. Add a bit more yellow. So they're the different shades of oranges you already got here. And many different browns you got here. So that's what I do with mixing my browns and oranges. Um, with burnt humper, I just use a tube of burnt humper paint and mix all these different browns. With oranges, I use permanent alizarin crimson and cabin yellow light. And that's how I mix my browns and oranges. So, uh, Hope you liked the video, like, share, subscribe and bang this bell and we'll catch you guys later.